that guidebook is actually all right. That guidebook is actually for next weekend. Um, news. I've been invited to speak at a conference in Sheffield next week. Uh, the Sheffield Anatomy Society run this uh, very well organised conference. We get loads of people in to talk about stuff. So I'm going to talk on Saturday. It's a one day conference. I'm going to talk about how I got where I am. Probably a bit of a cautionary tale then. Um, about YouTube and being useful. Just YouTube because that's what people know me for. But e-learning as a whole, teaching and being useful with some examples of other people being useful too um, and I'm going to do um, a little bit of a study, present some study data about what students want that should be fun and then on the Sunday hopefully if the weather's okay we'll go climbing in the Peak District we'll go climbing up at uh, Stanage which I haven't climbed up before this is uh, Trial War oh. Fantastic wall. Yeah, these lines are nice and dry. Stay. <laughs> I don't want to fall on my bum. They don't take a photograph. <laughs> okay, there are some routes on the gal we actually haven't climbed. So that's the aim is try and tick some routes we haven't climbed. But you know, locals. Locals routes rather than super popular routes. And um whew, it wasn't supposed to be sunny today and the wind's supposed to be from that direction so I thought if we climb down here we'll be out of the wind and we're not missing out on the sun because there isn't any sun the sun's come out but because there's no sun down there it means everything is very wet and slippery because everything is saturated it's difficult to, <laughs> difficult to exaggerate how slippy this is <laughs> it looks a bit damp. I've got new shoes as well, I'm glad I've got new shoes yeah, talking of new shoes, got new shoes because of that plantar fascia. So I ran um, last week, you saw me running on the beach, testing my plantar fascia and the pain eased off. But then afterwards, for the rest of the day, the pain was awful. So, which is fairly typical with plantar fascia. So no, it's not recovering. It's terrible. And um, I probably won't be running for at least another two months, that'll probably be three months off running pretty much. And then we'll test it again, because it's just connected tissues, they're just rubbish to heal and I'm not competing for anything anymore, so um, the main thing I want to do is climb. I can climb, I think I can walk okay, and I'll probably do a bit more mountain biking because I can cycle fine. called mossy wall because it's covered in moss. Thinking about it, that's not a great sign, is it? Yeah. Okay, plan B. We'll go down to Sheepbone Wall. Um, since the tide is way out. That's Brazili Bay, Clangeneth over there. Um, that there is Trial Wall. Around the corner is Retribution Wall. Down the slope is Sheepbone Wall, I think. A uh, bunch of short trad routes, other stuff to tick down there. Right. So there was, there was a lot of rain last night. So actually, we could have done with the wind coming from the west to dry that out, but it's 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 not. The sun's over the other side. The wind's over the other side. So it's not drying out. The tide is so low, you could pretty much walk all the way around to the worm, look. Amazing. We're gonna... Climb down there somewhere. That belay spike's been there for a while. Don't think I'm gonna trust that. <laughs> it's a nice scramble down when the tide's out. Don't have to talk about it without failing. Um, second bit of news, I've also been asked to speak at a conference in Romania, Cluj, Nepoca. Um, in May for the heart conference which sounds nice again teaching focus um, but I'm going to be talking about um, how teachers affect it's, they, they've got this really nice idea it's kind of like the hidden curriculum type stuff right it's uh, it's not the 
it's not just the stuff that you're taught that you have to learn, it's the stuff you have to kind of read between the lines. Um, learning from people rather than from books. I'm going to talk about that and talk about failure. I think I'm going to interview some of my um, students who have graduated and see what they tell me about teaching and how that affects them as doctors now. Um. Oh yeah, no fishermen because it's the title. Yeah, squeeze into little cams maybe. Someone has been eating crab. Kim says it's starfish, not crab. Uh, oh, I'm not sure I should be stopping on this bit. Bent arm, not brilliant footholds, but uh, yes, I'm uh, I'm turning 50 in a few weeks' time as well. Oh, well, hopefully I better get this done. Oh, it's warm. Short routes, but a lot of fun. Look how the tide is coming in, it's super fast. Um, but it'll take a while to get up to that rocky ledge so we can half sail off and do another one or two of these. Okay, you won't be late. Climb when you're ready. So for my 50th birthday, I'm going to go to North Wales. Fingers crossed the weather will be good. Hide out for a week in a cottage with some whiskey, spend the week climbing, mountains, walking, if the weather's good I will climb every day, I'd like to do the East Face of Trevan, I haven't done that for a while. So if you like <laughs> watching the outdoorsy stuff, there's stuff coming up if you like seeing us travelling, if you don't, if you like seeing me in my office at work, well there's, might be a bit of a gap of that. It's very sharp. Seems to be the finish. I think I might pull a big flake off right at the end, maybe. Yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Right. I think we could probably scramble down there the next one, but I'll have to fail, will we? <laughs> Here it comes. We can just make it to the bottom of the crag again. Tide comes in super fast in, uh, we've got five hours, it'll be uh, up with up with the black line. Okay, <laughs> here it comes. Really fun, really quick too. How far up the tide's gone already? Sea cliff climbing is fun. Although you do often think, oh, I'd quite like to just have a chill handful of hours just climbing for as long as I can, and then the tide comes in. It does what the tide does. So I thought we'd use this ledge because it's a bit higher than the higher than the water. I know. The layers uh, get very nervous when leaves are mucking about above uh, when the tide's coming in. This limestone is very sharp. I don't even know where I've cut holes in there. Really? Yeah, a little bit.
Yeah, the tide is making the belay ledge very wet now, so that's the end of that one. Although I think we'll go and find something else to do. The final bit of news is that we are waiting to find out if we become a great aunt and a great uncle. <laughs> um, a nephew okay. is about to have a baby. Literally about to have a baby. Well, the nephew isn't. The nephew's wife is about to have a baby um, this weekend. So on top of approaching 50, Becoming a great, great aunt, aunt and a great, great uncle. uncle. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, it's exciting, but it does kind of hammer the point home. Um, but I hope everything goes well. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> <Very exciting. laughs> right. I'm not going to waste this weather. Let's go find something else to do. <laughs> 